And uh, this is it. It's called Fear of the Word. A great fear stalking North America is speaking in public. Right behind it is dying while speaking in public. <laughs> yes, some people are so afraid of speaking in public that they believe that if they had to do it, worst case would be death by heart attack. The fear of speaking in public is called glossophobia, and it is all in your head. From the moment we are born, when we're in before that, when we're in the womb, we can hear. We can differentiate between male and female voices, hear and feel music, and all the ambient, ambient noise of the world. From the moment we are born, we realize that the quiet and muffled world that we have perceived has become much louder. It has temperature and light, food and attention. We realize, as helpless infants, that other people will respond to the sounds we make, just as they respond to each other. Every time a baby cries, they are using all of their energy and all of their faculties to communicate and interact with their whole new world. Some fears are based on reality. Poisonous, gate, poisonous snakes and mosquitoes carrying malaria can kill. Falling from a great height can cause serious injury. Lightning and fire are real. The fear of speaking in public is an unnatural emotional reaction that has been imposed on your subconscious. Our way of life is designed to raise taxpayer capitalists from kindergarten into a cubicle without questioning authority, without creativity. Other than show and tell, we are continually told to listen to people that are older, taller, and wiser than ourselves. Any challenge to the system is met with banishment to the corner, to be ostracized in silence. Thoughts of defiance, rebellion, or nonconformity must never be spoken. People who speak their own words, be they poets, MCs, singers, or stand-up comedians, have already dispensed with their own insecurities. They have defeated their own nervousness. They have transcended judgment of their peers and contemporaries. They have overcome the fear of death. To speak to a crowd of strangers about average contemporary life and elicit intended laughter, laughter is an amazing talent. The comedian has the ability to cause an audience to laugh at life or to laugh at authority. When figures of authority can be laughed at, they lose their power. Their way of life and their system of belief doesn't make any sense. It's so absurd that it's funny and the public will stop following fools. The power of rhyming is staggering. A young hip-hop head most likely has a larger vocabulary and a broader global perspective than the average civil servant, Cuba colonial, and has an ability to hold the attention of hundreds. Now, at the end of each sentence, you can tell me true or false. During a freestyle, the MC has the intellectual capacity to instantly tell you exactly what he or she thinks with clarity and rhyme without fear. In order to survive and progress as a species, youth, youth must be encouraged to think. True. They must be encouraged to explore and to create. True. In the future, children will be taught slam poetry instead of show and tell. <laughs> Students will have freestyle societies instead of debating clubs. True. And your thesis defense will be done to a beat. <laughs> The human mind can accomplish anything once you realize that glossophobia is all in your hands. <laughs>